Hello, football fans, and welcome to today's edition of ACSA Primetime here on the John Jay Gaming Channel. We got a great game for you guys here today as we have two top 10 teams clashing in the Big Pacific Conference. The number two ranked Oaksterdam Reefers, who could potentially clench their way into the Big Pacific Conference Championship game with a win here today. Whereas the Seattle College Cascades look to make their own case for the college football playoff. Currently sitting at number 10 in the nation, 9-1 on the season. It's going to be a phenomenal game here today, so if you're excited for it, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be new. Let's go ahead and get into some game action, shall we? So with that being said, it is now time to get this ACSA game of the week underway between the Oaksterdam Reefers and the Seattle College Cascades. Seattle College, man, they're a little bit more battle-tested playing an ACSA primetime game earlier this year against Amazon and winning pretty well. Meanwhile, we don't really know much about Oaksterdam. You know, they are the number two ranked team in the country, but it's not like they've necessarily been dominant in a lot of games they've played in. And this is also their very first top 25 matchup of this season. So we're going to learn a lot about both teams today, man. It's going to be interesting to see how this game turns out in general as the Cascade is going to go ahead and scramble with Sunt, who may not be the best throwing quarterback, but does have some good scrambling abilities. And it showed right there as he was able to pick up the first down on the play as another first and 10. Sunt scrambling again. This time a little five yard run there. Although they're already facing third and long. Can the Cascades convert on this third down? So we'll see. Sunt in the shotgun. Dropping back the pass. Oaksterdam sending pressure though. Although they're saying this one deep. They got a man and they connect with Collins. In the back of the end zone. Touchdown Seattle. And the number 10 team in the nation will strike first. And go ahead and take an early 7-0 lead on the number 2 team in the nation. And on top of that, they actually force a free and out on Oaksterdam. So Seattle certainly off to a fast start here. As we'll see them with the football once again. Picking up a nice little 7-yard gain on that play. It's now 2nd and short coming up. Sunt will drop back the pass. Head to the right-hand side. Over to Collins! Who takes a shot but will get himself back up though because he knows he's got that first down. He's a tough kid who watches hockey highlights. What can I say? As a Seattle College Cascades, man, they got themselves a drive going here. We'll see if they can turn it into another touchdown. As Sunt will drop back the pass once again going over the middle to Thompson. Who gets clotheslined it seems like but is able to get himself back up a 9 yard gain on the play. Is now second and short. Sunt dropping back once again. Going over the middle, but it's nearly intercepted. But falls harmlessly to the ground. So they'll be able to try again to get one more yard in order to keep this drive alive. As Sunt will drop back the pass again. Get sacked in the backfield, though. And Seattle does end up settling for a field goal. But Oaksterdam already finding themselves down 10 to nothing. People didn't really believe how good this team was despite their number two ranking. And right now, the doubters are being proven right as they're down 10 to nothing by a team that on paper, they should be better than. But again, you know, I'm not the one that makes the polls. I just go out here and commentate the games. As we're through the first quarter of play already in Seattle College, already up front leading 10 to nothing going to the second quarter. So now, here we go. Third and long to start the second quarter of play. Oaksterdam's record of 10-0 currently in jeopardy right now. As Dinka will drop back the pass on this third and long. Going to throw it deep downfield. Has a man and gets it to Coda, who finally is brought down at about the 11-yard line. The safeties just playing too deep, letting their man get beat down the center of, of the field. Although they could stall out here. Third and 11. Got to basically get into the end zone here. The first down marker on that one yard line. They throw it short to Bowen. And it is well short of the marker. So going to go ahead and settle for a field goal. Oshadam is on the board. But on the bright side, Seattle Cascades do go free and out on their next possession. So we'll see another drive from the Reefers. 
And he finds Coda once again inside the 40-yard line, connecting on another deep pass. As following that deep pass, here comes Dinka, who's going to go ahead and run the quarterback, scramble the option play, working to perfection. Getting him just outside the red zone now. As they go towards the end zone, he has a man, but it is deflected away. Guy did his best to make a play for his quarterback, but not the best decision, though. As we move on to second and ten now, Dinka going over in the middle, trying to get to his man again. But the defender is doing a great job of reacting, however. And so a third and long awaiting the reefers. Down ten to three, you would love to see him get to his end zone. The time of his ball game up, but it's well short. And even if it was caught, probably wouldn't have worked out for him. So, Osadam once again settling for another field goal here. But we do cut into his deficit a little bit. Now finding themselves only up by four points here. As we're getting into the latter part of this second quarter. We'll see how each of these teams play towards the end of the first half. As Sun trying to scramble. Gets on field a little bit and picks up a little five yard gain on the play. Nice little gain for the running quarterback. It's now second and five going to Anderson who takes it to the outside and gets across the 40 yard line for the first down. Cascades once again getting themselves a little drive going here. As Sun trying to throw to the left hand side. Had two receivers open but threw right in between them for an incomplete pass. It's now second and ten. Sun going to go on field. Got plenty of space to work with as well before finally being brought down at about the 40-yard line. It's now first and ten. Sun dropping back, facing pressure. Though the line does a beautiful job of picking it up. Does decide to go ahead and just run with the football. He had a wide open area just making it easy for him to scramble. So why not just take those yards? As they do continue to try to get it upfield, but now they face third and four thanks to an incompletion. As Sun is in the shotgun, ready to go ahead and take the snap. Is now going to hand it off to Anderson, who cannot quite communicate very well. So that means Seattle did have to punt this football away, but Silver Lining is they do pin them deep. And Oaksterdam starting with the football inside their five yard line. So they got a ton of yards that they need to pick up before they even start thinking about putting any points on the board before the end of this first half. But we'll see what happens, man. 2.13 left. Dinka will drop back to pass. He's going to send it over the middle, and it's nearly intercepted. He's actually very lucky that it wasn't a turnover. As we'll try again here, third and nine for Oaksterdam. Dinka directing some guys, running a few audibles right quick at the line of scrimmage. It's now third and nine. Gonna actually do a halfback draw to Mamera. And it's not even close to the marker. Kind of conceding right there. Although it doesn't hurt them on the scoreboard. Seattle does take a 10 to 6 lead into halftime. Second half coming. So here we go. Second half of play officially getting started. And the Cascades actually will start with the football. Anderson doing a little bit of a screen action and has done really well actually. A nine yard gain on that play makes it second and one. As Sunt will hand it off to Anderson again. Doing well on the screen and also doing well with the running game as well. Picking up that first down for Seattle College. As another first 10 coming Sunt. Somehow managing to get out of there. I had no idea they closed in on both sides. Brought the heat as well, but somehow invading out of there. Probably one of the better plays that we have seen so far this year. One of the better seven-yard gains, that's for sure. As now a third and short, we're waiting Se Seattle College. Do they go to Anderson? No, they don't. They go to Sun again. He's going to try to get it over the right-hand side. He had a man, but it was overthrown. And the Cascades had to punt this football away, and now Oaksterdam... Has the football again on their 26-yard line. Dinka going to try to throw it upfield, although it is nearly intercepted. As the Reefers will go ahead and try again, though, a second and 10. Dinka going to make some guys miss upfield and get to the 40-yard line in the process. First down for Oaksterdam. As they keep it going here, first and 10. 
Going up the field. Has a man. He gets it to Hudson. A huge first down for Oaksterdam. As they have an opportunity just 21 yards away now from taking the lead for the very first time today. As they do get it to Peterson, but he can't hold on to it. So now, third and seven coming up here. Quarterback in the shotgun, ready to take this snap. Let's see what happens here as Dinka drops back the pass. Seattle brings the heat. He had a man, but rushes the throw. And his receiver can't get to it. And so, Oaksterdam settles for their third field goal of this game. Although it does get brought down to a one-point difference between these two squads. But Thompson looks to change that. What a throw down the middle of the field for a phenomenal play. As Sutton will look to capitalize. Gets it to Spencer quickly. And it's another eight-yard gain following the huge pass down the middle of the field. It's now third and one. Anderson going to try to pick up the first down and is very successful in doing so. It's now first and ten. Anderson taking the carry once again, getting great yardage. However, it looks like there's a flag on the play and it's going to be called on Seattle. A holding penalty that's going to make it first and 20. And to tack on to injury, there's another flag on this play, an illegal procedure. So out of the blue, it's first and 25. Sun could try to make something happen here. He does manage to pick up some yardage. So, but still a very long way to go. And no surprising third and long coming up for the Cascades. Sun will try to throw it short to Thompson to at least make it a little bit easier on the kicker. But it's not going to be any chance for the first down, though. But hey, they did get another free and out at the very least. So... Maybe this is the drive right here that makes it a two-score game. We'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, Sun will try to throw it downfield. He had a man. And oh my goodness, that was a touchdown they could have connected. But unfortunately, that was not the move, Chief. And so instead, Sun going to still try to grind his way upfield. And does get to the 50-yard line before sliding down. It's now first and 10. Sun dropping back to pass, has a clean pocket. Gonna send this one deep, he had a man! But the reefers deflected away at the last second. As now we got second and ten. Sun dropping back again, but this time choosing to run with it. Nobody containing this quarterback. It explains the long run right there. So a few plays later now, Seattle facing a third and five coming up here. Can they convert on this play? Sunt. Dropping back. He's got time, but he's going to have to scramble out, though, and he takes a sack. So it looks like Seattle themselves will be taking another field goal. Or at least that's what I would have thought, but turns out that sack actually got him outside of field goal range. So a big play by his defense. It's still a four-point game, but again, they're going to have to drive deep, and that's not what you wanted to do whatsoever. A turnover on the play, giving Seattle the opportunity to make this a two-score game. Sun looking, he's trying to capitalize. Good, trying to get into the end zone. Doesn't quite get there whatsoever, but does at least pick up the first down. As we now have first and goal from the 10-yard line. Anderson taking the carry and does barely, you know, misses out on an end zone opportunity. As that does end the third quarter of play. Still a pretty close one out here. Only 13-9 going into the final quarter of play. So let's see what happens here. Third and goal from the two-yard line to start this fourth quarter. Can Seattle College go ahead and punch it in? As they actually will try to drop back and pass, but Sun dies for the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. And that's how you want to start a quarter, getting into the end zone. They double up on Oaksterdam. And again, Seattle forcing a free and out, just like the NFL team. The Seattle College Cascade defense, while not the most talented, they play extremely tough and we're showing it right now. So holding the number two team in the nation to only nine points in this game so far. An impressive job by his defense and the offense obviously doing just enough 
to put him in a position to where Seattle College can get a huge win for their football program. As now they are in Osterdam territory. Sun bringing the heat, going to the left-hand side. He had a man wide open. That was six points, but just overthrew him. The pressure causing that incompletion. As Sun will once again throw the football. Clean pocket, taking advantage of it as well. That one is at least a completion for a first down. As we have a third and long a few plays later, though. I'm sure they don't want to settle for a field goal, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Just don't turn the football over. You have one jump. Pretty simple. As Sunt will drop back to pass. Going to try to scramble one more time. But is caught from behind and is just one yard shy. So Seattle once again settling for another field goal. But 23 to 19. Oaksterdam now happen to get it into the end zone. And that is something that they have not done all day today. This offense definitely struggling today. As we got second and ten now. Dinka throwing it to the left-hand side. Over to Mitchell, who gets it to roughly about the 45-yard line for a nice little gain there. As Dinka will continue to pass his football. This time throwing it short, but it's deflected away. And if it was red earlier, that man could have easily taken it back for six points. As now Robinson will take it to the left-hand side for a nice little gain. Getting it across the 40-yard line so far. Is now first and ten. Dinka dropping back the pass, throwing it over the middle for a decent little gain. Or we so we fought, and then he somehow drops it. Is now second and ten. Dinka throwing to the right hand side again. Getting it to Dakota, who just is short of the first down marker. And Osterdam has a third down conversion that they really need to get here. They have to punch it into the end zone. They cannot you know, settle for field goals anymore in this game as Mamea fumbles the football. That is exactly the opposite of what I just said. And so now Seattle College is in a position to go ahead and try to run out some of this clock and complete one of the bigger upsets at least over the course of week 11. Nice little play there. Although third and short though for Seattle College, we'll see if Oaksterdam can at least get him off the field. Continue to keep giving this team a chance to win. As now Sunt will actually run it on his own tough running room, but still able to find the first down. So they'll be able to continue to run some more clock out on this football game. As Sunt will drop back the pass again, going to go up the field. Get some good old yardage right there. Now second and four coming up. Sunt again dropping back the pass. Gets it to Heeman who decides to go out of bounds for some reason. So it temporarily stops the clock but the clock is still running once again after the ball is ready to be snapped. As Sunt going to go ahead play it safe and just go ahead and scramble on field. It's not a first down but still able to run some time off the clock. As they go to Anderson again, who fumbles the football and gives it back to Oxerdam. So what was going to be like a 99% chance, you know, probably will still be that as they unfortunately went free. And now below, another fumble by Seattle College. They're trying to give Oxerdam a chance to win this game. But the thing is, with only 138 left, you got to get a quick score here. Got to make it happen. As Dinka will drop back the pass on the second and nine. Got a man downfield, but over froze him out ever. So we're back to the drawing board. Third and nine here. As Sunt or Dinka is ready to drop back and pass. Actually handed off to Mermea, who does get the first down this time around. Usually those halfback draws do not work on those third and long situations, but it does work that time around. As Dinka once again trying to pick up the first down. Does do that. That will temporarily stop the clock. Osterdam out of timeouts. Using it to prevent Seattle College from running out the clock. But still, if they can't get into the end zone here, this game is over. And still, even if they do score, there it's, it's a long shot situation. So for some, maybe to consider this garbage time. As now we will see uh, Dinka trying to drop back and pass again. Throw it across the middle for a completion, but even in garbage time, they will not find the end zone. But despite of a promising drive done by 
the Oaks are damn reefers, they will end up falling here. They lose by a final score of 23-9. to the Seattle College Cascades improving the 10-1 on the season, whereas Oaksterdam takes their first loss of the season. It'll be interesting to see how these both teams are reflected in the ACSA Top 25 polls going into Week 12 here in this season. But with that being said, the madness continues. Tomorrow night we have another ACSA Primetime episode with the David Crockett Mavericks coming in ranked number 14 in the nation, playing against Sugarland State, who's ranked number 19 in the country. A big Southwest Conference matchup that will surely be one for the ages, I imagine. But in the meantime, though, if you enjoyed today's ACSA video, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you do have to be brand new. This is John Jake Gaming on the mic. Hope you guys are all out there having a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.